Hello all, I am back with I think what is the most important thing on any Civil War gaming table, which is the snake rail fence. Um, so this is what I've come up with. This is uh, simply uh, plastic, plastic bits that I've cut up and used. Uh, they are various size strips. They're all from Evergreen um, scale models. Evergreen scale models. So this uh, the strips that I use for the base are 60 by, uh, well, 0 .060 uh, by a uh, quarter of an inch. And then the actual um, strips that I use to make the logs are 30 by 30. So 0 .030 by 0 .030. So uh, you can order this straight from uh, Evergreen, which... Uh, it's out of Illinois, it, it ships pretty fast, and it's uh, not too bad. So anyways, you can get a bunch of these, and then uh, all you're going to do is cut them into lots and lots of sticks. Um, about 12 millimeters long, 10 to 12 millimeters long, is what you make them into. Um, so pretty happy with how they come out. Um, I had to make the lighting slightly different here, so it's a little dark, but uh, just to see... Um, the scale so pretty happy with it so um, the lighting allows me to give a little bit more contrast to the uh, actual sticks so what I've done is I've taken and I've laid out my base I've had the uh, good fortune of actually making one of these in life size real person size um, and so uh, same process so you lay down uh, strips going in one angle and then you're going to come in and take other little strips going in the other angle um, then what I've done is to make this a little faster is all I do is I use some tweezers that hold and then dip the ends in and then come in and put them on top. So that gives you, gets you the start of your, um, your fence. So I do this so that it uh, actually builds up a four high. Uh, I find that that works pretty well with the miniatures. Um, and I do that. So on the ends here, all I do is I, uh, I let the, the end kind of go down lower. So that it's not actually stacked up, but uh, is instead just stacked on top of the one before it. So all you do is you just... Uh, spend some time doing this so it takes a little bit of time takes a little bit of effort but uh, I think the product is pretty good it doesn't take horrible long if you just uh, do this in in good fashion or uh, in in a oh, assembly line fashion so um, it doesn't have to be super perfect uh, having them off a little bit is actually not a bad thing and then all I do is I come in and I spray paint this with gray because I like my uh, my wood to be uh, gray in color. It's typically how the poplar or the um, locust wood that they would have made these split rails out of uh, turns turns gray. So um, and then I just hit it with a, a slight uh, khaki or a light brown over top. And then if you want to, you could actually go in and actually. Uh, um, put a wash on it uh, and then it's just a simple um, base with uh, I use matte, um, matte matte glue mixed in with a little brown and then I just put the flocking over top of that so uh, happy with the product and uh, that's my idea for split oil fence so hope you're doing well and have a good day